Ladies and gentlemen, I'm passionate about libraries and the knowledge and creativity they cultivate. It was Umberto Eco who said that if God existed, he would be a library. Maybe that should be if God existed, she would be a librarian. But seriously, I've also heard it said that librarians are the original search engine. And I couldn't agree more with this compliment. We live at the edge of an era which could make nearly all human knowledge available anywhere, anytime. And that is a vision I want to see become reality. I want to know what the European Union can do to help make it happen. And then we must act on it. In recent years, the European Council has moved to cement a fifth freedom in Europe, the free movement of knowledge. My message to you is, let's have libraries play a full role in that freedom. Many are saying that internet access is a human right, and I agree. But with the added value provided by assessing the information contained in libraries, this can be much more meaningful. Thanks to digital technologies, libraries are playing an even more important role in the knowledge society as virtual hubs for access to science and culture. But I'm keen to go further by developing open access to publicly funded research. The benefits of publicly funded science should be available to every citizen for enlightenment and business innovation and whatever else your users can think of. This needs to start with research articles, but it must not end there. We are already looking into ways to make scientific data available as a new platform for research and innovation. As a first step, the EU will practice what it preaches. We are looking for the best way to extend the current open access publication requirements of EU-funded research. And that is already supported by a dedicated pan-European repository infrastructure. Open air, but I want to build on that and further extend it. In the longer term, we need global coordination to ensure the right infrastructure exists to share this knowledge. Our cultural heritage also depends on the success of libraries in going digital. Whether it is for leisure, education or business, there is a lot to gain from that sort of digital renaissance. I envision, for example, combining cultural material with geolocation data and other information can lead to amazing new services and ways of seeing our world. The layer service on smartphones is one example that I love. On larger scale, Europeana is a major driver for Europe's digital renaissance. And I want to thank each and every one of the 1500 institutions that are building up the Europeana collection that now holds millions of objects. This will open up a new world to new generations and that is something to be very proud of. But let's not be complacent. We have a lot of work ahead to reach Europeana's longer term targets. 30 million objects by 2015, all public domain masterpieces by 2016, all Europe's cultural heritage digitized by 2025. And of course, like everything in the digital agenda for Europe, Europeana is a partnership. And more and more, we will rely on citizens to generate content. The new Europeana First World War project is a great example of how every European can be a part of the digital revolution. And I'm determined to secure Europeana's long-term future. So please follow our plans for a new funding model in the coming months and years. In conclusion, let me say that your work has my full support. I hope you have a great conference and we have to get every European digital, that is clear. But if we look further, I think we can aim to get all knowledge digital too.